uh, people make fun of me. Like Fargo, Fargo, North Dakota is a great place to grow up. Okay, growing up in Fargo it was great. A uh, lovely place to grow up. There are perks, there are benefits to growing up in a place like Fargo, North Dakota. Only in a place like Fargo does someone like me get cast as a shark girl in West Side Story. Because <laughs> I look the most Puerto Rican. <laughs> For precious, yeah. They just gave half of us perms and we're like, there you go, Puerto Rican. Okay. So silly. Growing up in Fargo, um, it's it's uh, maybe you can relate. It's uh, only a few hours from Winnipeg, and uh, guess what? Y'all can drink when you're 18 in Winnipeg. Did you did you ever go and drink? At, oh, they're, they're drinking from Winnipeg right now. Did you guys ever go up to Winnipeg and drink? Oh god, honey, you missed out, you missed out! Oh god. Okay, let me, t before I tell you this quick story, I need you to know that I, in junior high, high school, was not always the cool cucumber you see before you. <laughs> I was not always a woman of such great bangs, you know what I mean? Like, I was a bit awkward. I had a, what would, you know, they call like an awkward decade or two. You know, like I was, but I was also very boy crazy. I was so bored, boy crazy, boy, oh god. I was, how did the kids say, horny AF. Um, <laughs> I was a randy little lady and did not know how to make that happen. <laughs> I wanted, oh man, I wanted to make out with boys. I, oh I, man, did I, I, so I wanted to make out. I knew they were bases and I wanted to round them. You know? like, I didn't know what third base was, your hands or your face, but I was like, put me in, coach. Ready to play. I wanted action and I didn't know how to get it. And uh, I, I just chased, like, it was the same three boys I had a crush on, and I just chased them around, quote, in Wayne's world. <laughs> Excuse me, I like to get by now. Like, that's, how did I not get laid? <laughs> and I did not drink. I did not drink in high school, because I was very active. Uh, and I was so worried about getting busted, I was real straight edge. Like, don't get me wrong, I drank a lot of Diet Mountain Dew. I was fun. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, like, I just, it was, so it was real boring. Let's be honest, uh, but wanted to have action. So senior year, uh, we took a trip to Winnipeg because you can drink when you're 18. I was like, well, it's legal. I think I'll have a beverage up there. <laughs> Check it out. See how my Wayne's world works north of the border. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we go to Winnipeg, carload of young ladies and a carload of young men. Like high school trip, party time. And we get there, and we get shit faced by like three in the afternoon uh, at like the uh, hotel lobby bar, and we go dancing. And uh, y'all, I meet a man. I met a man named Vance, okay? Red flag number one, that's on me. Uh, started dancing, chatting up with Vance. He's got a thumb ring. Oh, boy. Whoops, whoops. That, that, my bad, my, I should again, that's two strikes. I should have, uh, it was 1997. I was willing to overlook the thumb ring. We were making out, Vance comes back to the hotel room. Dreams are coming true. <laughs> we're making out, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. It's so great. So we're hooking it up. Uh, my friend Casey's uh, puking in the bathroom. You know, Vance's friend is, is uh, passed out in the chair. My other friend Jamie is sleeping in the other bed, uh, listening, making sure nothing bad happens to me. You know, she's ready to pounce, so something go awry. And I'm hooking it up, y'all. I'm getting busy. And then all of a sudden, ever so casually, we come up for air, we'll break. And Vance, from his inside coat pocket, he's wearing a brown, I can picture it, a brown leather puffy bomber jacket, silk shirt underneath, ooh, yes. A hemp necklace, what? Yes. Yes. Boy, how many times you've seen this, Ben Doctors? Tell me about it, you know? Casually pulls from the coat pocket. Prop comic, you got a prop, I'm professional. Pulls from his coat pocket a, a picture, a photograph. Okay. 
you're young. Photographs are, um, how do you explain this? They are uh, like an Instagram, if you printed Instagram pictures, <laughs> you'd print them three by five, or four by six, four by six, whatever you want to do. If you want to splurge, you want to splurge, get a four by six photo. <clears throat> Pulls out a physical photograph of himself <laughs> receiving a blowjob. They're having fun, isn't that? She looks like she's having a heck of a time. And it worked, it worked. I blew him, I blew him. Don't know, that's not worth the plotting. That's disgusting. That's... And what, like, what, you know, to be fair, he was ahead of his time. Because uh, what better way to ask for consent. <laughs> like, that's what I would like to participate in. Uh, go ahead and look over the documents. And, uh, yep, if you just want to uh, initial here and here. Oh, great, great. We'll uh, go ahead and proceed with the activity. Sounds great. <laughs> Working young man, what a creative, tenacious. Do you understand? If you're under the age of 35, you have no idea. You don't. You don't know. You don't understand. Like, you, had to, you had to convince someone to blow you. Convince that person to be okay with another person taking pictures. Wait for the flash to warm up. Oh shoot! It's the start of the roll. Hold on. Brains, be like, yeah, I'm gonna need that one hour. I'm gonna need that one hour. Yeah, yeah, I need doubles. I'm gonna need doubles. And then just carry it around, waiting for the right moment until I come along. And you guys, uh, this set, <laughs> much like that first blowjob. Uh, just sort of ends. <laughs> and will only get better with time. <laughs>